Question 1. At an intersection with a stop sign, you should stop and A. Go when it's your turn. B. Yield the right of way to all other traffic. C. Go quickly before other vehicles arrive. Answer. B. Yield the right of way to all other traffic. Always yield to other drivers who arrive before you or to those already in the intersection. Question 2. When parking uphill with a curb, you should turn your wheels. A. Towards the curb. B. Away from the curb. C. Parallel to the curb. Answer. B. Away from the curb. This prevents the car from rolling into traffic if the brakes fail. Question 3. If you see a pedestrian using a white cane or guide dog. A. Honk to let them know you're there. B. Drive around them. C. Stop and yield the right of way. Answer. C. Stop and yield the right of way. They have the right of way and may have limited visibility or hearing. Question 4. When you see a flashing yellow light at an intersection, you should. A. Stop and wait for it to turn green. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. C. Speed up to clear the intersection. Answer. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. A flashing yellow light indicates to be alert and proceed with caution. Question 5. If you're involved in a collision, you must A. Move your car out of traffic. B. Wait for the police before moving. C. Leave the scene if you think you weren't at fault. Answer. A. Move your car out of traffic. If possible, move your car to a safe location, then exchange information. Question 6. When driving in fog, you should use A. High beams. B. Low beams. C. No lights. Answer. B. Low beams. Low beams provide better visibility in fog and prevent glare. Question 7. A solid yellow line next to a broken yellow line means A. Passing is allowed from both directions. B. Passing is not allowed from either direction. C. Passing is allowed from the side of the broken line. Answer. C. Passing is allowed from the side of the broken line. The solid line indicates no passing from that side. Question 8. When two vehicles meet on a steep mountain road where neither can pass, which vehicle has the right of way? A. The vehicle traveling uphill. B. The vehicle traveling downhill. C. The vehicle that arrives first. Answer. A. The vehicle traveling uphill. It's safer for the vehicle going downhill to back up. Question 9. If you approach a school bus with flashing red lights, you A. Can pass if no children are present. B. Must stop from either direction until the lights stop flashing. C. Can pass if you're in a residential area. Answer. B. Must stop from either direction until the lights stop flashing. This indicates children are entering or exiting the bus. Question 10. If you're driving slower than other traffic on a freeway, you should use A. The middle lane B. The fast lane C. The right lane Answer. C. The right lane. Slower traffic should always stay to the right. Question 11. When can you legally use a cell phone without a hands-free device while driving? A. When checking a map B. When making a quick call. C. In emergencies. Answer. C. In emergencies. It's allowed for emergency situations like reporting a crash. Question 12. If you see a do not pass sign, you should. A. Pass only if no other vehicles are present. B. Not pass other vehicles until it's safe. C. Not pass until you see a sign that permits passing. Answer. C. Not pass until you see a sign that permits passing. The sign indicates it's unsafe to pass. Question 13. When you see livestock near the roadway, you should. A. Honk your horn. B. Drive closely to scare them away. C. Follow directions of the person in charge of the animals. Answer. C. Follow directions of the person in charge of the animals. They will guide you on how to proceed safely. 
Question 14. If you're driving and a dust storm blows across the freeway, causing reduced visibility, you should A. Turn on your headlights and continue driving B. Pull off the roadway and turn off your lights C. Drive closely to other vehicles for guidance Answer B. Pull off the roadway and turn off your lights. This prevents other vehicles from using your lights as a guide and potentially hitting you. Question 15. If you approach an intersection without stop signs or signals, you should A. Speed up and clear the intersection quickly. B. Yield to vehicles already in the intersection. C. Always insist on the right of way. Answer. B. Yield to vehicles already in the intersection. The vehicle that arrives first or the vehicle to your right, if you arrive simultaneously, has the right of way. Question 16. When you see a slippery when wet sign, you should A. Maintain your current speed. B. Slow down when the road is wet. C. Assume the road is always slippery. Answer. B. Slow down when the road is wet. The sign indicates that the road can be especially slippery when it's wet. Question 17. If you're involved in a minor collision and your vehicle is blocking the flow of traffic, you should A. Leave it where it is until the police arrive. B. Move it to a safe location. C. Wait for a tow truck. Answer. B. Move it to a safe location. If there are no injuries and the vehicle can be moved, you should clear the roadway. Question 18. A pedestrian crossing at a corner without a marked crosswalk. A. Must yield the right of way to you. B. Should wait until you pass before crossing. C. Has the right of way. Answer. C. Has the right of way. At intersections, pedestrians have the right of way even if there isn't a marked crosswalk. Question 19. If you're driving on a one-way street and an emergency vehicle with flashing lights is behind you, you should A. Drive faster to clear the lane. B. Pull to the right and stop. C. Pull to the nearest side and stop. Answer. C. Pull to the nearest side and stop. On a one-way street, you can pull to the nearest side, whether it's the left or right. Question 20. If you're driving and become tired, you should A. Drink coffee and continue driving. B. Turn up the radio. C. Pull over and rest or change drivers. Answer. C. Pull over and rest or change drivers. Fatigue can impair your ability to drive safely. Question 21. When you see a yield sign, you should A. Always stop and check for traffic. B. Slow down or stop if necessary and yield the right of way. C. Continue at your current speed. Answer. B. Slow down or stop if necessary and yield the right of way. The yield sign means to give the right of way to other vehicles. Question 22. If you're driving and a large truck is trying to pass you, you should. A. Speed up. B. Pull to the right and slow down. C. Maintain your speed and lane position. Answer. B. Pull to the right and slow down. This helps the truck pass safely and quickly. Question 23. If you're driving on a road with three or more lanes, you should. A. Use the far left lane for passing only. B. Use the middle lane for the fastest speed. C. Stay in the right lane if you're driving slower than traffic. Answer. C. Stay in the right lane if you're driving slower than traffic. The left lanes are typically for faster moving or passing vehicles. Question 24. If you're driving and encounter a roundabout, you should A. Always stop before entering. B. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. C. Drive to the center of the roundabout before exiting. Answer. B. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. Vehicles already in the roundabout have the right of way. Question 25. If you're driving and your brakes fail, you should. A. Pump the brake pedal rapidly. B. Shift to neutral and use the parking brake. C. Turn off the engine immediately. 
Answer. A. Pump the brake pedal rapidly. This can help build up brake fluid pressure. Question 26. When you see a no U-turn sign, you should. A. Make a U-turn at the next intersection. B. Make a U-turn if no other vehicles are present. C. Not make a U-turn under any circumstances. Answer. C. Not make a U-turn under any circumstances. The sign indicates U-turns are prohibited. Question 27. If you're driving and a tire suddenly goes flat, you should A. Brake hard and steer to the side of the road. B. Maintain your speed and grip the steering wheel firmly. C. Slow down gradually and pull off the road. Answer. C. Slow down gradually and pull off the road. Avoid sudden maneuvers which can cause a loss of control. Question 28. If you're driving and encounter a flooded roadway, you should A. Drive through it if it doesn't look deep. B. Turn around and find another route. C. Wait for other vehicles to cross first. Answer. B. Turn around and find another route. It's hard to judge the depth of water, and even shallow-looking water can be dangerous. Question 29. If you're driving and a motorcyclist is passing you, you should A. Move to the left side of your lane. B. Stay in the center of your lane. C. Move to the right side of your lane. Answer. B. Stay in the center of your lane. Give motorcyclists the same full lane width as other vehicles. Question 30. If you're driving and approach a school zone while children are present, you should A. Drive at the same speed as usual. B. Drive no faster than 25 miles per hour. C. Always stop and yield to children. Answer. B. Drive no faster than 25 miles per hour. This is the speed limit in school zones when children are present, unless otherwise posted. Question 31. If you're driving and a ball rolls into the street, you should A. Continue driving and watch for children B. Stop and wait for children to retrieve it C. Honk your horn to warn children Answer A. Continue driving and watch for children A ball can indicate children are nearby and they might run into the street Question 32 If you're driving and approach a trolley or light rail vehicle, you should A. Pass it like any other vehicle. B. Be aware they have multiple stops and can stop unexpectedly. C. Always have the right of way. Answer. B. Be aware they have multiple stops and can stop unexpectedly. They might not stop at regular traffic signals. Question 33. If you're driving and approach a blind pedestrian with a white cane or guide dog, you should. A. Honk your horn to let them know you're there. B. Drive around them. C. Stop and yield the right of way. Answer. C. Stop and yield the right of way. They have the right of way and might not be aware of your presence. Question 34. If you're driving and your vehicle starts to skid, you should. A. Turn the steering wheel in the direction you want to go. B. Brake hard and steer straight ahead. C. Accelerate to gain control. Answer. A. Turn the steering wheel in the direction you want to go. This can help you regain control of the vehicle. Question 35. If you're driving and approach a stopped emergency vehicle with flashing lights, you should. A. Move to a lane away from the emergency vehicle if possible. B. Continue at your current speed. C. Honk your horn to acknowledge them. Answer. A. Move to a lane away from the emergency vehicle if possible. This gives them space and ensures safety. Question 36. If you're driving and a bicyclist is in your lane in front of you, you should. A. Honk your horn to make them move. B. Pass them with at least three feet of clearance. C. Drive closely behind them until they move. Answer. B. Pass them with at least three feet of clearance. This ensures their safety and yours. Question 37. If you're driving and approach a crosswalk where pedestrians are waiting, you should A. Speed up and pass before they cross. 
B. Stop and yield the right of way. C. Honk your horn to make them move. Answer. B. Stop and yield the right of way. Pedestrians have the right of way at crosswalks. Question 38. If you're driving and want to make a right turn at a red light, you should A. Turn without stopping. B. Stop and yield to all other traffic and pedestrians. C. Only turn if there's a green arrow. Answer. B. Stop and yield to all other traffic and pedestrians. After stopping and ensuring the way is clear, you can make a right turn unless prohibited by a sign. Question 39. If you're driving and approach a flashing red traffic light, you should A. Treat it like a stop sign. B. Drive through the intersection without stopping. C. Wait for it to turn green. Answer. A. Treat it like a stop sign. A flashing red light means stop, then proceed when it's safe. Question 40. If you're driving and approach a green traffic light that has been green for a long time, you should A. Speed up to make it through. B. Be prepared for the light to turn yellow. C. Assume it will stay green. Answer. B. Be prepared for the light to turn yellow. It might change soon, so be ready to stop if necessary. Question 41. If you're driving and a vehicle is tailgating you, you should A. Speed up to create distance. B. Brake hard to make them back off. C. Move to another lane or slowly reduce speed to encourage them to pass. Answer. C. Move to another lane or slowly reduce speed to encourage them to pass. This is the safest way to handle tailgaters. Question 42. If you're driving and approach a solid yellow line in your lane, you should A. Pass if it's clear. B. Not pass other vehicles. C. Only pass motorcycles. Answer. B. Not pass other vehicles. A solid yellow line indicates no passing. Question 43. If you're driving and approach a pedestrian tunnel or enclosed pedestrian crosswalk, you should A. Honk your horn to warn pedestrians. B. Yield the right of way to pedestrians. C. Drive through without slowing down. Answer. B. Yield the right of way to pedestrians. They have the right of way in these areas. Question 44. If you're driving and your vehicle begins to hydroplane, you should A. Brake hard and steer towards the skid. B. Slow down gradually and steer straight. C. Accelerate and try to regain control. Answer. B. Slow down gradually and steer straight. Hydroplaning can occur when driving too fast in wet conditions. Question 45. If you're driving and approach a shared roadway sign, you should. A. Expect to see bicycles on the road. B. Assume you have the right of way. C. Drive in the middle of the lane. Answer. A. Expect to see bicycles on the road. This sign indicates that the road is shared with bicycles and vehicles. 